everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'm a bit late with filming this um, today, I've just managed to edit and upload day 12 so that's gone up really late. Um, to be honest, yesterday I actually spent some time sewing in the evening for a change so that was quite nice um, and it just meant that by the time I'd finished messing about sewing um that it was quite late to edit and upload the video last night and i just found that i have been having quite a few late nights uploading the videos so i decided you know what i'm just going to do it this morning so that's what i've done i've edited and uploaded yesterday's video so that's gone up for you now um i'm hoping that i will get this one uploaded this evening once i get back from my planning meeting for the uh, cubs but yeah i enjoyed my sewing session last night so that was really nice so i'll show you what i have done and then we get stuck into the advent calendars then. So the first thing that I've sewn, which isn't completely finished because I was, I just slept on it for a minute, for a minute, like to see what I wanted to do. But basically I've made the Waves and Wild superhero boxes. So I've made these um, for my husband, Simon. And the reason I sort of half finished them and didn't finish them is because I wanted to check the length against his standard sort of ready to wear boxer shorts. Cause I just wanted to see, that they fell around the same sort of place. Um, I didn't want them to be too long. So this has got quite a few different sort of variations. So the one on the front here um, has got just a standard sort of fly front without an opening. And then these leg bands on the bottom. And then you can finish the waistband with either elastic or jersey. Um, and then on the inside of the pattern instructions here, there are several different options. So I think it's really good that you get all these options actually. Um, and I'll show you here on the line drawing. So this one here um, has got like the fly with the front opening there and the leg bands on the bottom. And then this one here is just a plain sort of fly and that's just hemmed legs there. So you do have those different options. And there's also different length options where you actually cut the shorts before you add any um, hem bands or any finishing of the hem at the bottom there um, and then also there is an option where you can have this fly section here either with just the two pieces and you sew that as per normal or you can cut those out four times so on the other side it's kind of all the seams are enclosed and that's the option I've gone for so I'll show you how far I've got with them and I have to say I'm really pleased with how they've turned out so I just used scraps of fabric that I had left over in my stash so they are quite funky <laughs> So I've gone with the jersey waistband. Um, I think that was actually a French terry fabric, um, if I believe, but it was quite a lightweight one and that was from Bobbins and Buttons. Um, this fabric was from Felicity Fabrics and it's the same fabric that I used to make my Colette Minetta dress. And this fabric here is a French terry as well um, that I used for a sweatshirt for Harry and I've since made pants for Thomas in that fabric. So I just thought that was a little bit of fun. Unfortunately, I've got um, a little bit of a car cut off there, which looks a bit odd, but that was the best side. So I've done it so... I've got the jersey waistband and the short style boxer shorts so I didn't do the longer length. Now I haven't hemmed the bottom at the moment because I wasn't too sure if I was going to be adding um, leg bands onto it but since holding it up against his ready to wear pair I'm going to just hem the bottom because I think if I add the leg bands on they're going to be too long and he perhaps wouldn't like that or wear them so I, I would like him to wear these so fingers crossed he does. Um, they are a slightly different shape to his ready to wear ones as well. This is this is a longer sort of section here and his ones are like curved more at the bottom there. Um, so we'll see how he gets on with them. I'll be interested to see what he thinks. But if I turn them inside out, you'll see that on the inside, it's got the all the seams enclosed. So you've got this gusset kind of section there as well. So I, I did the double-sided version and I really like that. I thought that was really neat. The only thing is, um, the actual main piece for the boxes themselves is cut on the fold. So you don't have like a seam down the back of the bum area. But my fabric wasn't wide enough for that, what I'd got left. So I ended up having to add a seam at the back. Um, so I don't think that actually looks too bad, um, to be honest. So yeah really pleased with that and I just overlocked all my um, seams so it's all really nice and clean really so all I need to do is I'm going to overlock literally the bottom edge of those leg sections turn them under and then top stitch them with my twin needles so they look quite neat um, and I'll just do that like maybe a centimeter or something um, because I, I don't think there's too much sort of hem to lose there you can't really lose too much fabric but yeah I'm really pleased with how they've turned out they, they go with what I'm wearing today <laughs> 
actually and I hope he likes them now if I'd have added the hem bands on I would have used this color um, just to make a nice contrast but yeah I'll see what he thinks you know if he likes them I will definitely make him some more because they were actually quite a quick make um, and there was only eight pages to piece together of the PDF as well. So really, really simple. Now I went with the size small in the end. I printed off the size small and medium together, cut out the medium and then decided last minute, right, I'm going to go with the small, which is actually what his body measurements are. And actually when I started piecing these together, they did look really big, but the waistband has actually brought it in a lot more. So I think when I put it up against his ready to wear um, boxer shorts, the waist is exactly the same size. So I'm hoping they will fit him. Um, I was doing it last night whilst he was around and I was I kept, every time he kept coming near me, I kept turning the pattern over so we couldn't see what I was doing because it's obvious that it's a man's pattern and not a boy's. So I don't think he saw what I was doing. And then he went off to bed fairly early anyway because he doesn't want to sit here listening to my overlocker, you know, interrupting the TV. Um, so that's as far as I've got with them. So literally I've just got to hem the legs. So I'm really pleased with those. And then I have actually finished the hot water bottle cover. So I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. Um, now, the only change I would make if I was to make this in the future, which I probably will do, is actually to have an opening at the top here so you can actually fill the hot water bottle whilst it's in its cover. Because I've got this water bottle in here and it's got, you know, water in it. And it was quite a struggle to get it in the, um, in the casing. Um, so I think that would be a, a nice idea just to have an opening at the top there so you can just fill it up straight away without actually taking it out of its cover. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It's a nice fit as well. And I think the, the lengthiest process of it all was the quilting. So you can see there, I've just done that sort of diamond style quilting. And I think that looks really nice. And the bias binding that I ended up using was some that I had out of a Think Pink subscription box from beyond the pink door. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to use that and I thought the contrast was quite a nice color. So it's quite a neutral kind of um, cover. So, you know, it can be for girls or boys. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. And to be honest, it was quite a quick and easy sew. If it wasn't for the quilting, it would have been done in no time. So yeah, and it is quite um, a thick fabric. So I think with the sort of batting layer that I've got in there, um, it will be fine to have a nice hot water bottle in there and it's not gonna burn Harry. So I think he will really like that. Um, my hot water bottle is in there now and it is quite warm. So that's that's really nice. Yeah, I think I'd like to make one for myself because my one is just here and it's it's really grotty. I mean, it does need a wash, but it's, um, it's like a felt one or a soft, you know, what do you call one of those? Um, fleece, that's it, fleece fabric. Um, but yeah, I could just uh, make one exactly like that. That's got the opening at the top, as you can see. Um, so you could, you know, make it in like a nice quilted style um, one like this one. Just very similar to that, really. So yeah, really pleased with that. Hope you like it too. Um, I think Harry will be really pleased with it. So um, yeah, I can get that wrapped up for him now. Right, so my day to day then is clean, 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 clean. Um, I am now on a mission to get all my cleaning done this week because I don't want to be doing it when the boys are off. I just want to enjoy that week with them next week when they finish school. Um, so I'm going to be doing today the oven, the fridge, um, the cupboard doors, and I'm going to whiz around with the hoover again because obviously my sewing bits and bobs got all over the floor yesterday. So I think that's as far as I'm gonna to get today. And then I've got some other jobs to do later this week, like the windows and doors outside and inside, um, just to give those a clean. I can really highly recommend the Karcher. If you don't know what I mean, it's one of these um, sort of, I don't know, you power it up um, just by a, charge it with a plug and then it squidges all the water off the windows and it just saves so much time. And we get quite a bit of liquid on our windows in the morning, so it's great to just squelch those off it's great um yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing today so i'm not going to be sharing too much today unfortunately because it is just just cleaning i mean i have to say i'm really sorry that i haven't shared any festive stuff really um we haven't really been doing a lot of festive things um i will hopefully be doing a little bit more of my festive sewing later on this week or maybe next week we'll see how we go um but yeah time just seems to be ticking away really really quickly and we haven't even got our Christmas decorations up yet. So usually we would have got the tree by now, but because we had a busy weekend going for the walk, we didn't end up going to the farm that we usually go to to pick up the, um, the Christmas tree. So 
I'm going to make an effort to do that one evening this week so we'll get those up and it'd be quite nice if the boys are around to put the decorations up together so yeah right let's crack on with the advent calendars anyway so let's go into prim first just because it's here on the top so day 13 it's on the orange side i think yep so it's just here at the top oh lovely that's really nice some glittery thread and it's like a rust kind of color that's really really pretty i like that I haven't got that color so i've got a silver one and it's nice to have that color as well oh that's really nice i like that right next up we'll go into mine then just because that's the next box right here's mine then so as you can see you can probably guess kind of what it is by the shape of the packet um, and this is one that i've i've made myself you know like wrap myself um i got uh, this actually as one of the first gifts to go into my advent calendar so i know what it is as well just because it's it's really obvious but yeah i'll open it up so you can see so it's this gorgeous cup now it's not um china it's made of like enamel so it's actually from enamel happy and they're on instagram so i will link them down below um, they do these lovely cups um, they also do some lovely badges and things and i have got um, a badge from them in the past so that's really nice um, yeah really really like that mug i just thought um the reason i bought it, it's obviously not sewing related or anything but um i think she had a discount at the time when i bought this at the beginning of the year um and i just thought it was something nice to have to take on holiday so when you go on the beach and you want to take a flask of coffee or something that this is quite nice because i usually end up taking a china cup down which isn't the greatest and you know when you're carrying stuff from where you're staying down to the beach you know you don't want to be carrying a heavy mug and this is quite lightweight you know so yeah perfect so i will end up buying one i think for simon as well because they do the some in different colors so i chose the blue one i think they do a pink a yellow and perhaps a green kind of color i think yeah really really like this one so that was my gift to myself <laughs> So I'll be taking that on holiday with me next year. Right, so beyond the pink door then, let's see what we've got today. Oh, I'm not liking the fact that this is getting really low. I'm going to miss this after um, Christmas Eve. <laughs> right, so here's number 13 then. That's what it looks like. So, ooh, not really sure what this is. Let's see. Oh, some snaps. Brilliant. They're handy, aren't they? Yeah, so I can definitely use those. Perfect, thank you very much and snap fasteners so they're like the metal ones so they're really handy i've had plastic ones before and they're rubbish they just fall off <laughs> yeah oh great thank you very much right then hemline let's see what treats we've got today right i've managed to um <laughs> sellotape the door back on right, i think so we're on days 11 and 12 if i recall so that will bring me up to date then won't it so let's find number 11 um right it's down the bottom just here Try not to look at the writing on the top of the flap now and I know it's there and just see what I've got. Oh, <laughs> it's the stitch ripper or seam ripper. So it's one of those ones. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind having um, more than one seam ripper, you know, because uh, you always tend to have a need for them. Um, and like somebody else was saying, I think it was Claire from Claire Who Makes, and she said that, you know, they do blunt quite easily, don't they? But I will see how many I've got. If I don't need it, that it'd be going in that little pile to gift on to somebody else. So it won't go to waste. That's the only risk, isn't it, with having um, sewing calendars. You, you probably are going to duplicate on what you've got anyway, regardless of who you go with. So, right, let's go with number 12 then. Ah, so that's this one here. It's quite a longish one. Ooh. So this is actually a gel pen. Oh, it's got like a thimble thing on the top. I don't know if that's just, um, I think that's just a novelty kind of thing on the top. <laughs> but it's a gel pen. Right, okay. That's interesting. So is that for use with sewing? You know, it's got quite a fine tip. Can you see that? Um, I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah, so it's a gel, it says Sofen gel pen. So maybe it could just be a standard pen with um, a little thimble on the top just to make it sewing related or it could be for use with the dressmaking you know like if you um have to you can mark your fabric with it I'm not, I'm not too sure i'll obviously test that on scrap it otherwise i think it might just be a pen i don't know let me know what do you think do you think it's just a normal pen 
Right, so I'm all up to date then with my calendars. I'm in line with the date for the hemline one, so that'd be nice and easy now to think that I just need to think of the date it is, and then I can just open it there. Uh, before I leave you, I'll just tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing another Lisa hoodie by Bobbins and Buttons, um, and this one, again, is in a lightweight French terry fabric, and um, Julia herself actually made this one and gifted it to me, so that was really nice. And then I made my navy one as part of the testing process when she brought the pattern out. Um, so it's got a lovely lined hood and this has got like a star fabric on in this kind of minty greeny kind of colour fabric. I'll stand up so you can see that this is the version with the kangaroo pocket on and also the step 10 again. So I've just got it on again with my running leggings. Um, I was intending to go out for a run today if I had time, but we'll see how my cleaning goes. Um, I'm not really sure. I might be able to run down to school um, or I may well just run down to... Um, the meeting tonight, we'll see, I'm <laughs> not really sure. Anyway, I shall leave it here for today because I really do need to crack on with that cleaning um, and I shall catch you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot, take care, bye.